What? Oh, jeez. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we're back on Hunting Simulator, and I am currently in pursuit of a red fox. Uh, continuing the campaign missions, which... I guess I can't change locations yet, so we're back in their subalpine. There's a thingamabobber there. So we'll cross our fingers, we'll see how that goes. And actually we're getting that weird uh, behavior. You know what, before we, before I get to hunting this thing, I'm actually going to attempt to fix the frame stuttering. All right, so I picked the same mission, didn't I? Yeah, claim one red fox. There's that bird hopping again. Yeah, that's already making a huge difference. I'm actually seeing lower GPU usage. That's interesting. So we'll see if it holds steady through the... Nope, right there I saw a stutter. So, still does it. Doesn't change a thing. Alright, so frame stutter aside, time to go find a fox. Now, since I had to restart the game, I don't have that track anymore. Okay, this is that center section that I haven't done yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find a fox. Three hours east. Oh, that's th this way. All right, here we go, another track. Let's see here. Two hours, northeast. So I'm gonna point out, I made a comment during the classic video that Hunter Classic has graphics on par with this, and I still believe that. The models are not as good as here. The models are higher end just because more modern engine and everything, so they had the technology to do that. But it's, it's more or less the world design that actually affects it. This doesn't have... To me, it doesn't have that natural feeling of outdoors. You know, t too much of this to me looks like someone recently mowed. But with Classic and with Call of the Wild, you can really get that kind of unkempt uh, wilderness look to it. I just realized you have no sound again. Why? Why do you have no sound? Default. Stop switching to default playback device. What is your damn problem? I have no idea why that happens. It is very annoying. Windows, for the love of God, leave my settings alone. Steve, for the love of God, check your audio before you start recording. Fox, for the love of God, let me find you and kill you. All right, there, I think that the, the animal, not the channel. Should probably just cover that. Or network. Oh, well, somehow. There you go. Alright, I spooked the ever-loving bejeebers out of that, because apparently she was, like, right... Not that she could see it because the rifle's in the way, but she was right here behind that tree. I thought she was a flower. Oh, look at that. You don't need wind powder, just move around. The dust you kick up will tell you where you where the wind goes. Well, that's good. I got a head-on wind. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna... Since belly crawling still works so fast, we're just gonna belly crawl all around. Dang, that is a giant butterfly. Or was that... Did it just disappear into the ground? Okay, never mind. Oh, hey, what do we got up there? Wrong caliber. Oh! Well, now I know how it'll tell me if I'm about to make a stupid... Alright, uh, we're running into a wee bit of a problem. We're running out of daylight. And it seems that whenever the sun goes down, the frame drop goes. But on top of that, I haven't the foggiest idea where this goes. I don't know why it's doing that. That is very frustrating. They have never optimized this game. Where there's something wrong with it, because... I should not be getting frame drop right now. My GPU's not even under full load. CPU's damn near sitting idle. Claim a cottontail rabbit. 
Well, I can't do that now, can I? Ah, I know that sound. That is definitely fox sound. Eyes peeled because he's right over here somewhere. Oh my lord, he's right there. Let him come out from behind that tree. A little seven pound red fox. That'll work. Ooh. That might not be a vital hit. I think I got it in the neck. Oh, there you are. That is ridiculous considering it's only using 76%. I did get lungs. Alright. What is this symbol? Sunny. Oven? Sunny. Is that supposed to be rain? They, 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 okay. Yep, we need a little more tutorial. Alright, so this is turkey. I am assuming I need to bring the shotgun. We'll go ahead and bring this as backup. I guess that's it, alright? Because I'm not going to have... Okay, well, there, there's nothing else we can bring. So I guess I'm going to take a shotgun and go turkey hunting. Alright, turkeys hide in tall grass in and around trees, usually in a flock of four to five. These turkeys will be easy to startle, so pay attention to both the floor and skies. If you want to catch one, turkeys aren't the only animals you'll find in this region of subalpine, however. Mule deer and sometimes even cottontail rabbits have even have been known to roam in this area. If you feel that you can carry one back, why not claim a mule deer while you're at it too? That is a monster compared to the one. That's, that's the biggest one so far. Got it. Most of the animals are fleeing the area. That's fine. Oh, wow. The turkey was actually heading west, so... Let's take a look at this guy here. This is now the biggest mule deer I believe I have. 221, 209. Alright, back to bird finding. Uh, west. Where's the sun? It's right there, so I need to go that way. Yep. Oh! Wait, does it have to do with my stance? Why does that happen? Oh. Clicking frees it up. Shooting breaks it. Are there wolves? Holy heck. Okay, so you can see it there. Ah, I actually can't use the rifle. Well, that's interesting. But I guess I'm just going to sneak up on it. I can't switch to bind this one crawl. I cannot tell much about that animal from this distance. You probably can't even see it right now because it is such a tiny... Well, you should be able to in 4K's 4K, but... Is it... Oh! We have choices. I'm still a little on the unsure side about the wolves. Alright, um... What's that one? So 13.5. I think there's another one at the top. 13.8. Oh, that's 14.3. Wait, can I just... If you tap the bino button while your little crosshair, it'll do the spot for you. Alright, so that one's 14-3. Just gonna carefully sneak up here. I really don't like the fact that there's a wolf sound over there. Are there wolves?
That doesn't... Them turkeys can fly pretty freaking good, I, I think. I, just gonna point that out. Wait. Can I, can I? That's my turkey. Turkeys don't really fly like that, right? They just, they can go for short distances, but I don't think they can come soaring through the freaking air like that. What? Hard to gobble. Alright, I have no idea how to tell my turkeys down. So I'm gonna move... I'm gonna move this way because A, I'm curious to see what's howling. And B, I'm gonna try and stumble across another turkey. That does not sound that far away. Alright, I gotta gobble. Really close. I'm literally just crawling around the ground on my belly because this time I don't want to miss. I like how my own shadow on the ground, if you watch, doesn't match my animation. That's, uh, that's great. Quality. Did those spook because of me? Or am I about to find out what's been howling? Hang on a second. Oh my lord. What? Oh, jeez. Well, I got that bugger. Alright, so that's how you're supposed to shoot him, if, I guess. That was a good headshot there, but here is the one I shot earlier. I just realized that there was an X. I completely forgot about that. Vital hits, none. Ooh, I should have gone and grabbed that other one so I didn't have the penalty. Whoops. Unlocked. I can now use a flashlight. Yay. Alright, well, I think we're going to call it good on this one. It's going to be a bit of a shorter one, but... Honestly, it's already been a bit of a one day, and I'm actually catching a break in amongst the uh, construction workers that are doing, well, construction. They're on lunch, so that I have peace and quiet right now. It, they're working on the road. So, lots of heavy equipment. Where is my lodge? Alright, mule deer. So now this should be... Yeah, the 221-209. And... I don't think that red fox was any better. No, this is still a 12.8 pound. Yeah. And then... Bighorn sheep, that's not changed. It was turkey. Here we go. There you go. Turkey. So that's turkey hunting in Hunting Simulator. That, uh... Anyone who's ever actually been turkey hunting or watched turkey hunting... That's not turkey hunting. That was that was too easy. Way, 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 way too easy. They were just there. I was able to walk right up on them. Or maybe I got lucky and maybe it'll be harder the next time. Who the heck knows? But next time we're going to go after cougars. And there was... What, what else is on the list? Alright, so next time we're going to go on for cougars. And pheasants. Hit one from over 50 meters. 
But anyways, that does it for this one. Uh, that was turkey. What else? Oh, fox, which you already did fox. And then I guess I'm going to keep going on and hopefully we'll actually get to start to see some of these other places here because there are a lot of, a lot of reserves. A lot of reserves. And some of them look like they might, like, if there's actually, like, this kind of grass and brush around. It might actually look better. So, but that being said, that does it for this one. So there's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push. Till next time. <laughs>